Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Shaw's Life. This week is a, it kind of going to be an entertaining week, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, Jeff and I are picking up a double package deal. We're getting a skid steer and an excavator. Uh, Jeff did all the research on this and found it up in Ohio. And uh, probably going to upgrade my excavator and we've wanted to skid steer for a long time so we're kind of getting this package deal um it, guys kind of making it difficult i wanted to break the check in half and then pick up one go back and pick up the other it's two and a half hours away uh but the guy wasn't interested in that he was not having it at all like we were going to screw him over and i get it it's craigslist you don't he doesn't know me i don't know him i gave him my youtube channel so he could check out who i was but you know whatever if people don't know so i uh need to borrow paul's trailer paul has a 30 foot trailer but the problem with this trailer is I've tried to move it before him before as a favor to get it, you know, from one place to the other. And I, when I back up to it, my dump bed hits this extra draw bar top and uh, I can't hook up to the pinnel hook. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to cut that top piece off this morning and then, uh, yeah, and then we'll get the trailer back over here and then I'll take that up uh, and pick up both pieces of equipment at the same time. I hate to borrow and stuff, though. It drives me insane, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, so, and then we'll fix up a couple things on the trailer for, for Paul. So, all right, let's get to busy. All right, good morning. Hey, we went all over the place trying to find hooks that were <laughs> that could hold the weight of that big trailer is. So we went, I mean, we went to three different towns, so honestly. We bought one in one town, and then we had to go all the way up to uh, another town, and they didn't have them, and we went to the third town, and they had the other one. So we got two, two hooks now that are rated for the weight that we need. That are really hard to find. I mean, it's easy to find hooks, but to get any kind of weight limit, a good weight limit on them, it's really hard to find. So, so I'm going to pop those hooks off those little three foot chains and then I'll pop them on his. And then we'll have some wiring work to do. It's his is wired a little different and we're going to make them all standard so that no matter what we hook to, his hook is made for his dump truck, but his dump truck, uh, he bought used and I think somebody changed the wiring, right? But we're going to have it so that both of our Dodges, both of our dump trucks and the semi can all hook to the same trailers. That way when I need to help them out, I can help them out. So I'm going to rewire this trailer this morning. Uh, we'll get those chains on there and then it'll all be set up. And then when I get back, I'll get his dump truck and then I'll rewire that to match everything else. So, and the same, the same with, it matches my motor home too. So, I mean, everything matches the standard hookup, uh, as opposed to having his wiring different than my wiring or whatever. So, all right. So as it warms up, uh, I'll get these hooks taken off. We'll go put those on there. And then maybe I'll jockey the trailer around or whatever, but I need to put solder and heat shrink the, uh, the uh, lines when I fix them. Right now they're just uh, electrical taped on there, I believe. We'll see what we get into. But he just got it this summer, so he, I don't think he's been totally through it uh, yet. But uh, yeah, so we'll get that fixed up for him. And then the uh, wires are just hanging out, so we'll get those covered up. I got that uh, electrical cable cover and we'll get that on there. We'll try, to, we'll try to fix it up. And then we cut the top off, so I need to grind that down nice and smooth. And then I'll prime and paint that up for him too, so that way it looks nice. And, when I, and that way I return the trailer back nicer than I got the trailer. That's the point. So he should be happy that we're getting hooks on there and the electrical fix and all that stuff. That should make him feel good about, about me being a decent friend. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, he's not expecting any of that, by the way. He would, he would give me the shirt off his back and he wouldn't care. But uh, let me get these uh, taken care of and we'll go out there and get them on. All right, the $10 boat all frosted up this morning. That's how cold it is here. Ugh. 
sun's coming though sun's coming nice trailer though don't you guys think brand new wheels tires Woo. Whoop -da, whoop -da. all right Let's see what he's got going on here oh he's got a chain ah uh, he got this chain i gotta get rid of this thing i'm gonna get a big ring for that this side's good though i can get this one done We'll get the uh, wrench and probably, I don't know, we'll get some stuff to get this thing off here. Oh man, this is going to be, it's bent up. I'm going to have to cut this off. I don't know what he's got going on. It's bent. I can see it's bent. We'll give it a whirl though. Oh, yeah, there's no way. There go. Alright, I'm gonna have to cut this off. Well, we got a little peak of sun coming. That's nice. Alright, the glass is on. Alright. Something to hold this with. Just hold it on this side, I guess. Cut it out on it. Just hold it and cut. Alright, wasn't paying attention to my camera. Wasn't paying attention to my camera, but I got a cut. Let's see if it'll yeah, it'll spin. There you go. That was dumb. Sorry I wasn't uh, aiming you directly where you're supposed to be. Alright. Woo, it's cold. I drive all over the place trying to find these hooks that were could take the load. I mean, they're they're really hard to find. You, they're easy to find hooks, but not that can take you know a lot of load. So um, end up tractor fly. I had to go through places. So we got them. We got them. It'll be good to have them on his trailer anyway, just so he's safer. All right. All right. I'm <laughs> doing it one handed. <laughs> All right. See, I already feel safer. I already feel safer. Next thing I do is figure this out, get this taken apart. We'll figure out what goes where, get the blinkers and everything working. And I don't know if that's just an extra line or what he's got going here on this one. But uh, we will definitely figure it out, get this thing lined up right, get these all soldered. Yeah, there's probably clips under here. But we'll get them taken apart. We'll get them soldered to get them on there so that they're working with this. And then we'll set his dump truck to this. Because this is set to the to the standard. And my, set like my Dodge and everything else in my trailer. So we'll just get that fixed up so that it's st st standard. And then we'll fix his dump truck to where it's standard as well. I also need to ground this down a little bit where we, we cut that off. So let me get that ground down and uh, cleaned up. And we'll, we'll paint that this afternoon too. Get it looking nice. All right, that'll be good. I'll, I'll tape it here and here and just kind of paint this whole front area on here. Um, I don't want to disconnect. This thing is so heavy. 
uh, my back is absolutely killing me, so I don't want to disconnect it. Otherwise, I'd do the ring and everything, but we'll tape it off there, tape it around, and just clean up so it doesn't rust where we where we cut this top off. I smoothed this off the best I could. I could sit here and try to ground this down, but that's just strength, so I take it off. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I'll uh, tape that off and paint it out. Come on, baby. Woo, it's cold. <laughs> She started though. I guess I'll clean this cab out a little bit too. I've been needing it. I'm just kind of throwing stuff in here and not taking it out. All right, we're gonna let this run for a bit. It'll shut itself off if I don't stay in here though. So I have to, it's got that California stuff. I need to get that off here. It, if it runs 10 minutes, it shuts off. But in Kentucky, that's not so good because you need it to warm up, right? So I don't know what we're gonna get. I just checked that camera and it's like got shadow and sun and it's all so we'll see what you get But I just did a farm paint job on that taped it off and then I taped the sticker off too So it didn't get on there and then just painted it black just so it wouldn't rust where we cut this where we did all that cutting and stuff um, And then I just primed the chains out because they were just rusty up, you know chains just to make it look a little nicer I don't know why <laughs> just wanted to do it But uh, yeah, that's really great for him and then we got this all tucked up and ready to go so it's just a matter of the paint dry and then I'll bolt this back in here so it'll be nice like he like he had it and then uh, that way now it's all soldered up and covered and protected and it won't be gotten caught on anything. Um, so yeah, that's good. Really good deal. Hey everybody, me and my dad are up here in Cincinnati and we have just picked up two new machines. Uh, Jeff and I, so this is Jeff's new skid steer and my new excavator. And uh, yeah, really nice machines. Um, yep, came up here. The guy was pretty decent. Got the two things. We may come back up for a trailer. Actually, there's a trailer over here that we like sitting behind that truck. So we may come back up and pick up that on a different day. But uh, yeah, yeah, pretty good exchange for the most part. And uh, we'll be hauling these home. All right. Hey, good morning, YouTube. Hey, I'm not doing a very good job of documenting this. But uh, yesterday we went to Cincinnati, me and my dad, with the dump truck, and we borrowed Paul's tra uh, trailer and we picked up two new machines so this is the new skid steer my buddy jeff is buying or bought and the new excavator that i'm buying so there you go we're gonna upgrade the 27d to a 30g uh, nice machine they're all bald nice machines they they're all in great shape um you know this one's pretty good no, not nothing big thrills or anything like that. I will have to put a thumb on it. Uh, it doesn't have a thumb on it, so I will be doing that pretty quick. I was going to take the thumb off mine and put it on here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. The more I look at it, the more I think I'm just going to get the new system for it and put it on. But it definitely is going to need a thumb. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up, of course. No maintenance has been done on them for quite a long time. Uh, they have no hours, though, so the guy just didn't use them, didn't run them, didn't do anything. 
So they all need to uh, filter and fuel filters and oil filters and hydraulic changes and all that. But uh, this one was covered. I, I started cleaning it off this morning, getting all the junk out of it. Got the pressure washer out. I was going to start working on the uh, motor home, but it's still, it's, it's warming up fast. It's going to get warmer. So I'm letting the building warm up. It was actually freezing inside the building. So I need to shut that window before I start spraying this. But it just needs a good clean down so I can see what's going on here. What, 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 you know, the good, the bad, the ugly whatever we got to get it figured out so uh this the original owner did use it for concrete so it has a lot of concrete built up in it a lot of that will come out over time as i use it and or he uses it whatever we use it uh we'll get this concrete beat out of here but um but it's functional right and then they let the, the concrete get splattered on the front so hopefully a lot of that comes off as we clean it up as well so yeah beautiful beautiful machine i don't even want to talk about the deal we got we got one heck of a deal that's for but we're gonna get that off there now but uh yeah just beautiful machines uh murphy tractor and equipment is where they came from which is a pretty reputable place i hit my john deere buddy up and uh, he said that they're good to go there's no nothing wrong with them at all no no bad maintenance history or anything like that so so yeah so i'm gonna start spraying on this see what we can get cleaned up i got the bucket in the air because i wanted to clean the bucket first and then uh we'll put that back down and we'll clean this machine up and uh just see where we're at but uh yeah i just wanted to spray them off and before i put them in the building but beautiful machines so good deal uh yeah i'll let you know as we go through them uh it's one of those deals oh again i was gonna film the whole thing and then you know whatever people get uncomfortable in this this guy was a, a nice guy but very high strung and wasn't sure about us at all and uh that's always tough when you're trying to make a, a big deal like this you know buying two machines at one time as a package uh you know who do you trust and and i get it i get it so all right so let me get this thing cleaned up and see what we got this is by no means clean but we got most of the junk sprayed off the right it was concrete splatter so i'll be working on getting a lot of that off over time actually a, a bunch came off because i don't think it had ever been washed to be honest with you but uh we just have to kind of chip away at it as we go a lot of wear will get that as uh, as too oh i need to wash back at this track but uh cleaned out a bunch of the junk got the i don't they, they, i don't think it had ever been cleaned out behind the sprockets so that's really good we got that taken care of and we washed down the engine it's looking really good um, it had never been sprayed down ever so uh got a lot of junk off of it and it looks brand new actually so yeah let me spray the top of this real quick i see junk on it and then let me spray that other tracks off and then we'll i think i'm just gonna run down the driveway and back just to clean it up but we'll see well i wish you hadn't splattered the front with concrete i guess i didn't notice it as much when it was covered in dirt now i do oh trying not to get too muddy ah I definitely need to get the hose and just wash this out without the sprayer on it because it is dirty dirty i probably should do that now get the floor clean because it's not got power and it's kicked up idle all of a sudden i don't know what's caused that either So it's giving me a water and fuel code. So I'll have to get that fuel filter swapped out. Alright, so we're just out driving around. See what we'll do. I need to fix my rock anyway, so that's my excuse to come over here.
this other excavator move. We've got to put this all the way down every time. Every time. That sucks. Gotta use that. I guess our bobcat was the same way. I don't remember. So we rinsed them off pretty good. Now we can kind of see what we have. I am really surprised at how much concrete's on the front of this one. It didn't look that bad when there was when it was dirty. It was covered in dirt. But there's a lot of concrete on the front. So we got a lot of work to do there getting that concrete off. That's just looks kind of thing. It ain't gonna check the function at all. Um, I was able to spray off all the fittings, almost all the fittings, uh, and get them cleaned off. A lot of concrete did come off. I just stood there and hit it at different angles or whatever. So a lot of that will be coming off. The machines had never been washed. I can tell you that right now. Um, so that helps actually, believe it or not, get it when you're trying to get something clean. And then we got the new 27D and 30G right next to each other. Just a, maybe an inch or two taller. You sit, you definitely sit higher. Um, one thing I love about it is I can't stand this big plastic door uh, compared to what they've done here here they've made a little plastic door right here for the front but then you open the rear with this big metal door here on the side here i like that um you know do i worry about it getting scratched probably but i like having that metal compartment as opposed to that huge plastic door it's just hard to to uh uh for it to stay aligned and all that stuff so i do have new plates for here this this piece of sheet metal and the other side front uh so i will be replacing the those on this one uh i've had them for a long time i just didn't want to put them on because i figured i might probably hit them again when you're doing tree work the, you hit these things up so if you don't do tree work and just do dirt work you don't you don't damage these up but whenever you see one like this it's done tree work right um it looked to me like the front was narrower and i may be wrong about that it may be exactly the same i thought it was narrow when i first yeah it's narrower so this is a little wider the old is a little bit wider than the new uh, it seems like they're trying to save steel on everything these days so that is uh a little bit less metal on the new one than on the old one so it looks like about the same cylinder on the top pretty much and then the bottom cylinder looks the same too it looks like he got just as much damage as i've gotten actually i gotten less damage on mine than he has on his it looks like he's really hit that bottom thing a lot he's probably because it doesn't have a it doesn't have a uh a, a thumb he's probably pulling stuff up against here to carry it which is always a bad idea the bottom is just about as torn up as mine the difference between mine was nice mine was nice and shiny because it gets used all the time this one is rusty so i'm gonna have to use it a bit before i clean it up and spray it down and all that but uh the tracks are a lot longer and just a little bit higher if you notice they you probably have i don't know a foot or so uh and the machine itself is, is longer uh, on the 30g uh so that's definitely interesting the, the 27 is a nice size i'm not gonna lie to you um of course the back has the redesigned small hatch door and whereas this has the big door uh, i like this because it's a big solid steel piece there's a little more weight in the back here and you when you hit it you ain't going to tear the sheet metal up right not that i've ever hit the back as you can see i haven't hit the back i hit the sides uh both sides were well when you're working in trees right um you just get scratched up and pulled and whatever so there you go there's pretty much the the new and the old uh the exhaust is coming out here and the exhaust is down the bottom over there that's a little bit interesting uh it has the same thing on the mine that catches the leaves in there this one had the same thing he had never cleaned it out and it needs more cleaning but it was full of mud and crap um again i need to wipe all this down i haven't wiped it down yet looks like it's missing a blank there i'll need to get that filled in let's see on mine it was the lights oh the horn shut off but the horn shut off on this one's up here in the front um yeah we're gonna get rid of the horn the beeper all together i can't stand it i know if you're a uh, a commercial business you probably have to have it for osha i am not a commercial business and never will be so that does not matter to me anyway the controls are basically the same uh it's two speed which actually he was telling me the other day is it yours did you know is yours two speed and i was like no mine is it's just rapid and slow i didn't realize that's two speed but i guess it is right so i have the same thing on mine um the lights are the same 
and then the horn on mine's down here where the horn on my, this one's up here i'll need to get a blank or something to cover this up but or just put a toggle switch in there uh the lights are in the same kind of positions on this one as they were on on mine of course i had bro broken both mine off so they uh i actually have another one for that i gotta get it put on there uh and of course i'm going to clean this machine up i'll be selling the 27d i can't afford to have both no, i can afford it i don't want to afford to have both there's no need to have two um this is a, a newer machine so i'm going to just move to the newer machine and uh and uh yeah so learned a lot on this machine and i'll try to keep this machine as pristine as i can you know if you're using them they're not going to stay super nice but i mean you know you can keep them nice don't get me wrong but you know if you're using them they're going to be used right so but definitely got to get a thumb on this one and uh the pin kit and all that stuff i think i don't know how much expensive they are i think jeff was saying three grand but i'll price them out with my buddy at john deere and see what i can see what i can finagle um and then take it up to uh anthony and have them welded on the bracket on so i can get the thumb going all right well there's uh the two machines the old and the new ah good morning everybody hey i wasn't filming but i i uh was gonna mess with this and it said high water gave a code and it said high water in uh fuel or whatever so then i opened the valve and it didn't drain at all so now i'm just taking the thing off and i just see water just pouring out of here and that's all water there's a little bit of fuel on it but it's mostly water this thing's clogged full of water oh look at that glump coming out there now guess what i bet you we have algae issues i don't know oh my gosh that is nasty 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 all right can you guys see this so basically i got an alarm that said water high water and fuel that's not just high water that's that's algae can you guys see that so we're going to have to uh, get rid of this all together and um, clean this up and probably put some uh, killer for algae in it. That sucks. Okay. Well, at least we got all new filters and everything in there, so that'll be fine. But uh, yeah, she definitely wasn't uh, draining. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> so we know why now. It was full algae. So there you go. All right. So let's see what this filter looks like yeah, okay so on the one side it's just probably clogged up i'd say let me put this in a bucket so it didn't get everywhere oh yeah oh yeah it's full of uh algae okay well there you go what a way to start the morning huh <laughs> uh all right so i've replaced both filters the water fuel separator which i need to turn on by the way um and the uh the final fuel filter and then i put biocide in the tank we've been through this before with the big tractor so i'm not too scared of it this time last time we cleaned the tank out and it didn't work and we were like what what do you do you know um so anyway so we know what to do now it is a very very common thing for john deers with plastic tanks and this one had been sitting it was full of water obviously i mean i couldn't even drain it right i had to actually take the thing off and it was just pouring water out so it was full of water um so anyway uh well of course the first thing i did was fill the tank up when i got it so that's good it mixed it up we'll probably still have some water to get rid of we'll probably still have some algae to get rid of but we'll run it like this for a while with the biocide in it which will kill everything and then we'll just run conditioner after that again when you get a machine like this don't fear that stuff i mean it sucks i mean i wish the guy would have told me whatever maybe he didn't know maybe he did know um but uh but regardless doesn't matter um not a big deal uh if and if you don't know what that he might be in the same situation didn't know what to do um you probably didn't even know he never ran the machines and that's probably why the algae grew because they sat with water in them uh, in the tank and in the algae grew right all right so uh, i'm gonna start her up see if i can clear the air and uh, we'll see where we're at um yeah it concerned me because it had a fuel uh water in fuel error yesterday and then uh, today it said uh very very high and so that was like what well very high what in the world so I'll see if we can't clear the code. There's a second code that came out. Don't know what it is. Uh, we'll we'll work on that. Uh, see if we can't get that cleared here in a second. But uh, let me put this bio side back. It's some pretty bad stuff. And uh, clean up a little bit. And then we'll move on to something else. 
All right, now we can fire this thing up and see if we got rid of those codes. Ooh. Boy, look at all the concrete I got out of this bucket. I don't know if you guys were watching, but I got, that's a ton of concrete out of this bucket. I did get some concrete dissolver, which I think is in actually. And uh, I'll be spraying it on there to see if I can't get a lot of that concrete off there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Boom. It's wild. And a high idle is because it's got a, oh shoot. Oh, it's got the door open. So it says it does, it doesn't. Huh. Menu. Next. Exhaust filter has a exhaust filter one of three. Exhaust filter auto cleaning. So it's auto cleaning, so that's what it's doing. And part cleaning. So there you go. I think I'm gonna go. Uh oh. That's not good. She ran out of fuel. Oh shoot. Ah, let me see if I. That's not good. I, feel, I hear the fuel pump. I can hear it filling. I'm gonna let it keep going. So this would have been empty. There she goes. And that's full, so just gotta get that air out of there. See if that got it. Oh, I'll learn how to get in and out of here better. Come on, baby. There she goes. I knew it. Just get some fuel in her. Select. Clean, not needed. Okay. All right, not good. That camera just aired out, and I've lost hours of timeline, time lapse footage. I got it on recovery. We'll see what I get back. This sucks. That's a man. I did it to the Corvette. It's done to this. I, I'm getting sick of these cameras. I should have my own fault, though. I guess I should download it by now. All right, this is a really good day and a really bad day. So the bad day is the all the files for the last. I don't know, three weeks. Just got lost, all the time-lapse stuff. So I have it on recovery software, we'll see what it does, but that's gonna suck for me because I've done a lot of work in that time that I'd like you guys to see and you just aren't gonna see it. Well, we'll see, but hopefully you do. So one of the things was the radiator, radio didn't work, the guy said the fuse, he thought it was the fuse. He was right. It's up above here and it's a little three amper and it was totally blown out, so. I got another one to put up in here, so I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put this radio all back together. So that's good. Simple fix, maybe. We'll see when I put the fuse in, I guess. But All right, 50-50, it worked. Mm, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see if I turn it on. Oh, yeah, it's working. There you go. Right. Woo! Turn that way down. I need to read up on how to. Oh, cool. There you go. So, that's all auto. All right, radio set. We don't mess with that again. <laughs> all right, cool. That's good to have a radio. I don't know why. Don't really need a radio, but you know, if you're out here for hours. All right, well, let's see what else we can fix. I still notice the uh, air conditioner uh, vent is right here, so we'll get that done next. All right, get all that turned off so I can hear. But yeah, I found this uh, air conditioner cabin vent when I was looking for the fuses. Looks pretty easy. Be careful how fast I say that. I shouldn't say that at all. 
Oh, so frustrated about losing. I hope that recovery thing software works. Hmm. All right, nasty filter. Let's get a new one in there. Pretty simple. Just kind of goes in there like that. Yep. Oh. Let's see. I say that. Of course, I didn't pay attention which way this came off. Something like that, I think. Nothing to it. All right. Well, I think that's good enough to use the machine for now. The exhaust thing is done. I do, I need to find out what that is. Let me go look that up. Once I figure out what that is, then I'll know everything that's going on. All the errors are cleared. Uh, the radio works. And now we got a cabin filter in there, new fuel filters and biocide in the fuel. So uh, let me see what that that uh, thing is all about, that warning is about, and then we'll uh, get, do some work. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if I told you I scored. The owner's manual is behind the seat, so that's great. Uh, if I didn't catch that, but uh, 17, the one that I'm looking at is because the hydraulics are still off and they are because I haven't turned them on to move the, the sheet. So once you hit the button, that one will go off. All right. So we are clear and free. Boy, it's good to have these in it. Have good to have a owner's manual. We are free and clear. Everything is working like it's supposed to work. So we are in business. We will still come and change the hydraulics and the oil eventually. Uh, doesn't have to be done today. Uh, and there's another air type filter that goes somewhere. That I'll have to figure out too and figure out what it is. But uh, that's what we're down to for this machine. So uh, really good. So safe. I feel good enough to run it now. I mean, I've checked everything. I know what everything's sitting. So I can uh, definitely run it now. All right. So I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to go work on the uh, garden that we're putting in. Uh, a lot of that uh, was on that camera. So we're probably missing a lot of that. A lot of the motorhome stuff that I've been doing is always on that camera. So hopefully the recovery works. So I'm going to go in and check on that and then we'll get down there and start on this garden. <laughs> 